Hey, good afternoon, good day, good morning, good evening. I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm going to be very quick. I'm making this video because you've asked me this question so many times, but I never got to come out and tell you. I never was able to answer you the way I could. So I thought making a video would be a very good way to get the answer out to you. So I'll be, but before I go on, I want to ask you to please subscribe to this um, channel if you haven't. And if you have, I thank you. And if you're new and just stumbled upon this channel, you're welcome. Thanks for joining us. Please don't forget to subscribe. And if this video helps you at all, or you think will help someone else, please give it a thumbs up and then share with a friend or family, anyone that you think might benefit from it. And I thank you for doing all this for me. Okay, so quickly. Oh, and if you subscribe, please um, hit the bell notification button so that every time I put a video out, you know, you're notified and you're able to watch it, huh? Okay. So with that out of the way, let me get to the point. Um, the question is, Rashida, how come your children speak Yoruba without an accent? You know, how come they speak Yoruba so tonally? How come they live in the U.S., they live away from home, and they're speaking this language so clearly? Rashida, they're the only ones I've ever seen that live in, uh, that, that live in the diaspora and speak tonally. So first of all, let me thank you all for these comments and also um, assure you that it's possible that there are other children, but they haven't come out yet. And I'm going to find, <laughs> I'm going to dig and find those out. But yes, um, it is hard to raise children in the diaspora and expect them to speak the lang our language, um, our languages tonally. And the reason for that is because most of us do not even speak our languages to them. And sometimes when we start speaking to our children, we start too late. Sometimes, you know, we've raised a couple of children before we realize, you know, it just, the light goes off and we're like, gosh, I'm going to, I like what this person is doing with the language, so I'm going to do it too. And so it's okay though, no matter what your journey, what your story, what matters is that wherever we are today, from this point on that we are teaching, speaking, and ensuring that more people, especially the little ones, are, they know about this language and they are speaking it. Okay, so before I digress, let me go to your question and answer it. The question mainly is, Rashida, how did you do it? How did you teach them? And they can speak as if they were born in Nigeria. Well, there's no secret to it. All I did is I made Yoruba one of the official languages in my home. And what that means is, I speak the language to, to my children and I've been speaking it to them since birth. I have videos of myself mixing the languages together when I first started and, and I laughed at it when I saw it, but then it clicked, you know, it clicked because I soon quickly realized, I, I quickly realized that if I didn't stop doing that, I would suffer the, um, the detriment of losing the language, you know, having the children feel more comfortable um, speaking English because we have more English around us than we do Yoruba, especially being away from home, you know. So, so that's all I did. Um, so if you want to speak, if you want your children to have a better tone, speak to them as soon as you can. Start speaking to them today, especially if you are a native speaker or you speak it fluently. So start speaking to them today. That's all I have done with my children. But make Yoruba an official language in your home. A lot of us say, oh, I want my children to speak, uh, but we ourselves don't speak it when we can, you know, when we could speak it. So just make it a language that you yourself are disciplining yourself on and speaking. So because if you're disciplined enough and you make it an official language in your life, then you can teach it to your children. And by official or by um, making it an official language, what I thoroughly, let me explain that. What I mean is I made it a language that we must speak in the house. I am the officer in charge of the Yoruba language in my house. So I make sure that I execute this law of, you know, um, the Yoruba um, language speaking in my home because I'm the only, I'm, the, I'm a native speaker. I am Nigerian. My husband is not from Nigeria, does not speak the language. 
And so by default, I am the one that children can learn, learn from. And they are lucky because some people don't speak the language. You know, some Yorubas do not speak Yoruba. So what I'm saying to you is this, that at least I speak it as their, their mother speak the language. So they're able to directly learn from me. Uh, and that's to those of you who speak it. If you know you speak it, just make it an official language in your heart, in your mind, in your home. Exercise it by speaking it. When you call your siblings or when you call a friend of yours who's also Yoruba, speak that language to them. And when you speak it, do not mix those um, any of any other language with it. Just speak it fluently. Um, and so that way, start speaking that way to your children too. Because what happens is they are picking it up and children are fast learners. They don't have bills to worry about. They don't have all the worries that you have in your role as parents or as a caretaker, right? So they're, they're ready to learn. They are, they're absorbent and they will learn. Okay, so that, that aside, there are some of you who are not fluent in Yoruba, right? You are not as fluent or don't speak it very well, but you want your children to speak it. I'm no expert, but what I'll say to you is the little that you speak, just start speaking it to them and adopt um, some help from, from maybe a tutor um, or you, maybe your mom or you, if your parents are fluent, ask them um, and start learn, start watching Yoruba movies. You'll be amazed at how much your vocabulary, your Yoruba vocabulary can improve by merely watching Yoruba movies, some words that you don't know as they subtext it as, as most Yoruba movies do because they want to reach a wider audience. Just read the subtext so that when you hear them speak the Yoruba, you can see the English and so you can rewind to see, to match the English subtext, the Yoruba word that you may have, a new word that you may have heard and that way you are um, expanding your vocabulary. So that's another way to um, improve yours if you're not a, a fluent Yoruba speaker. But honestly, speak whatever you think you know to them. Even if it's just the name of objects, just tell them, tell your children. Like if I were not a fluent speaker, I would just, if I know what a cup is called, Ife, right? I'll just tell my child that is called Ife in Yoruba language, you know? So it's not about speaking fluently. It's just about doing what you can to help those children. So I hope I have answered your question about what I did to get my children speaking fluently. Um, and again, that is that I started speaking to them very early and I made Yoruba an official language in my home. And I do not mix the languages with the language with any other language. I hope I've answered this question again, but if you have other questions, please feel free to ask me. I have a lot of plans for this channel and I just want to do more to promote, um, to help elevate the Yoruba language. And I hope that you can um, take this ride with me. And so I ask you to please subscribe to this channel so that more people can know about it. And also, if you like our videos, thumbs the video up and share with your friends. Thanks again for watching. Take care. Oh, by the way, if you need more information or need free resources, I'll be availing free resources on mydiasporaspeaks.com. So just check the website out. It's still new, so it's still a little lagged, but we'll get in there. And with your help, we will get to where we want. We, 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 will, we will make it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.